Hi, Future GISPs. I'm going to teach you everything that I learned to easily pass the GISP exam so that you don't have to spend years reading textbooks, getting degrees, paying for prep courses, and searching the internet for information like I did. In this video, I'm going to teach you everything I learned about basic geomatics and relationships in GIS. Basic geomatics and relationships in GIS is the fourth section under the Conceptual Foundations category of the GISCI Geospatial for Technical Exam list of knowledge categories. Let's get started with section 104, Basic Geomatics and Relationships in GIS. Geomatics. Geomatics is the discipline concerned with the collection, distribution, storage, analysis, processing, and presentation of geographic data or geographic information. Geomatics includes, but is not limited to, the fields of cartography, mapping, geography, geophysics, surveying, remote sensing, photogrammetry, GPS, and GIS. Geodesy. Geodesy is the precise measurement and understanding of Earth's shape, gravity field, and rotation. Surveying. Surveying is the science of determining the terrestrial two-dimensional or three-dimensional positions of points and the distances and angles between them. Remote sensing. Remote sensing is collecting data from a distance with technologies such as satellite imagery and LIDAR. Cartography. Cartography is the art of creating maps and spatial representations. Geographic Information Systems, or GIS. Geographic Information Systems are digital tools for analyzing and visualizing geographic data. Global Navigation Satellite Systems, or GNSS. Global Navigation Satellite Systems are satellite-based positioning and navigation technology. Hydrography. Hydrography is the science of mapping water bodies and their features. Photogrammetry. Photogrammetry is the science of obtaining reliable information about physical objects and the environment through the process of recording, measuring, and interpreting photographic images and other remotely sensed data. Now I'll discuss some of the concepts used in geomatics that aren't prevalent in other sections of the study material. Meads Ranch. Meads Ranch is the geographic center of the United States. Meads Ranch is used as a benchmark in creating reference grids. Meads Ranch is the anchor point for the Clark Ellipsoid of 1866. The National Geodetic Survey, or NGS. The National Geodetic Survey defines, maintains, and provides access to the National Spatial Reference System. It provides a framework for all positioning activities in the United States. The National Geodetic Survey is administered by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA. The National Geodetic Survey maintains benchmarks for the High Accuracy Reference Network, or 
H A R N, Harn. The High Accuracy Reference Network, or H A R N, Harn. The High Accuracy Reference Network consists of 16,000 survey stations across the U.S. It was created to upgrade NAD83 with high precision GPS to improve accuracy. The High Accuracy Reference Network is also known as the High Precision Geodetic Network. The High Accuracy Reference Network is used by state plane coordinate systems and maintained by the National Geodetic Survey, or NGS. The first, or direct, geodetic problem. The first geodetic problem is, given a point's coordinates, the direction or azimuth, and the distance from that point to a second point, determine the coordinates of the second point. The second, or inverse, geodetic problem. The second geodetic problem is, given the coordinates of two points, determine the azimuth and the length of the line that connects them. Great circle distance. The great circle distance is the length of an arc between two points belonging to a circumference passing through the center of a sphere. Great circle distances are used for measuring distances on a 3D Earth surface. Geodesic distance. Geodesic distance is the shortest distance between two points across a curved surface like the Earth. Geodesic distance is used on unprojected maps or over very large distances that span hundreds of miles. Geodesic distance is similar to, but not the same as, great circle distance, as the arc does not have to belong to a circumference passing through the center of a sphere. Loxodromic measure. Loxodromic measure is a line of constant bearing or azimuths. Great circles are broken into a series of loxodromes to simplify navigation. Rum lines are loxodromic measures. A loxodromic measure may appear to be the shortest distance between two points on a projected map, but it is not the shortest path between two points on a 3D spherical surface. The shortest distance between two points on a two-dimensional cylindrical projection is a curved line. A Euclidean plane. A Euclidean plane is a geometric space with two dimensions. A Euclidean plane is a geometric space in which two numbers are required to determine the position of a point. A Cartesian plane. A Cartesian plane is a Euclidean plane with a Cartesian coordinate system. A Cartesian coordinate system specifies each point on a plane with a pair of numbers called coordinates, which are signed distances to the point from two fixed perpendicular oriented lines. A Cartesian coordinate system. A Cartesian coordinate system specifies each point on a plane with a pair of numbers called coordinates, which are signed distances to the point from two fixed perpendicular oriented lines. Planar measure. Planar measurements are made on a flat surface. Planar measurements can only be performed on projected maps.
Euclidean distance. Euclidean distance is the straight line distance between two points. Euclidean distance can be calculated from Cartesian coordinates using the Pythagorean theorem. Euclidean distance is also known as the Pythagorean distance. Euclidean distance is used on projected maps or over short distances. Manhattan distance. Manhattan distance is the distance between two points measured along allowable routes of travel. Manhattan distance is the distance a car must travel in a city like Manhattan to travel between two points. Manhattan distance is also known as taxicab geometry. Quadrant bearing. Quadrant bearing is when the bearing of a line is measured as an angle from the reference meridian towards east or west. An example of a quadrant bearing is N45E, which means 45 degrees northeast. Azimuth. Azimuth is the direction measured in degrees clockwise from north on an azimuth circle. Azimuth measure ranges from 0 to 359.9 degrees. Now you know everything that I learned about basic geomatics and relationships in GIS to easily pass the GISP exam. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so I can keep helping people pass the GISP exam and achieve the rewarding careers in GIS that they deserve. You can also find everything I learned to pass the GISP exam in my book, The Ultimate GISP Exam Study Guide, available on Amazon. My study guide is an easily understandable, comprehensive, graphical, all-in-one resource for passing the exam. You can find the link to my study guide in the description below. Thanks for joining me and congratulations in advance on passing the GISP exam.